Hello, welcome to Identity Intelligence Product Overview video. This video introduces you to Identity Intelligence Capabilities. What is in it for you as a user? User Permissions and Access Control. And at the end, you will be seeing the demonstration of a report and a dashboard. Identity Intelligence enables you to analyze and monitor the activities and events in an environment. It provides insights and information that helps in informed decision making. Let's see the identity intelligence capabilities. It supports auditing. Reports and dashboards serve as documentation with near real-time data. The dashboards and reports can act as tools to centralize the data and enables auditors to monitor effectively and efficiently during the audit process. Analyzes abnormalities. The dashboards and reports aid as user-friendly interfaces and empower a broad audience to identify and understand anomalies, fostering informed decision making. Reporting. Reports and dashboards in identity intelligence streamline the reporting workflow by making data interpretation accessible and facilitating effective communication of critical findings. Compliance. The reports and dashboards in identity intelligence contribute significantly to enabling compliance by providing transparency, facilitating monitoring, supporting documentation, and streamlining reporting workflows. They empower organizations to proactively manage and demonstrate their adherence to regulatory standards and internal policies. You might want to understand what is in it for you as a user. You can use the interactive dashboards and wide range of reporting capabilities by the identity intelligence to view data in the form of visuals and tabular details, evaluate and determine if the organizational process adhere to enterprise standards and service level agreements. For instance, service level agreements can be the agreed upon standards to perform the functions and operations to meet the organizational goals and objectives. In the organizational context, you might be a system administrator who wants to monitor the access control to build robust security. Or you might be a compliance administrator who wants to ensure that organizational policies and practices align with relevant regulations and standards. Or you might be an auditor who wants to assess and evaluate the effectiveness of organization's information security controls, policies for the compliance. You might be in any of these categories. The identity intelligence supports creating the users and defining the permissions for these users. The report user can perform administration activities such as creating other report users and giving them appropriate access depending on their function, creating content such as reports and dashboards, run the reports and schedule the reports within the reports portal. In this hierarchy, the report viewer will have the least permissions of only viewing the reports. To conclude, the identity intelligence enables auditors, compliance administrators, system administrators to view the trends in user access requests, permission changes and other user related activities which further enable them to identify suspicious activities and security threats. Based upon the role and permissions assigned to a user, they will be able to access the dashboards and reports within the repository. The administrators will have the highest access control and permissions to view all the directories in the repository. A report user can also create their own reports and dashboards using the predefined widgets or modular dashboards. For more information about managing users and user permissions, see the Identity Intelligence User Guide. Let's look at how Adam as an administrator can use Identity Intelligence dashboards and reports to get insights. He selects the access request and approval activity dashboard from the available dashboards. He observes that there are 141 total requests in the system. Also, the lesson shows the pending requests, denied requests and completed requests within the system. To see the details, he drills down further by clicking on the chart where he can check the details such as item type, permission name, application details, 
and so on. Similarly, Adam uses the permission definition changes report to see if there are any changes added or removed for a user in the environment. Identity intelligence lets Adam to visualize the insights, trends and enable him to monitor the activities for the selected period for an informed decision making. Thank you for watching the video.